Hey guys, what's up? Lukas Adam here and today I will show you why you should use Astro.js as a web dev. Now I have a similar video about why you should use Jekyll as a web dev, where I show the power of Jekyll and how easy it is to build websites with Jekyll. However, nowadays in 2023, Astro.js is, in my opinion at least, way better and way easier to work with. It's a new kind of static site generator which works with a JavaScript environment and instead of Ruby. So make sure to check it out, it's completely free. I have some videos on how to install it, but today I would like to show you why it's so good. So right here, as you can see, this is a block template from Astro.js. It gets installed automatically when you install um, Astro. So they will give you the option to install it automatically. You can also install a completely blank template. And as you can see, you will get a blog page where you have your blog post. So if you click that, you can write your blog post. It's also responsive. So it's working on mobile as well. And you have an about page, which is really, really awesome. And as you can see, we have right here some introduction text and a button. And now I would like you to focus, first of all, on the button. And second of all, on this astronaut ink, which is right here, right here and right here. And with the power of Astro.js, we are going to make this kind of dynamic. So let me show you. This is the code that I get from Astro. And don't be intimidated by that. It's, it's just easy HTML. So you don't really have to know how to code to use um, Astro.js, especially in times where ChatGPT is your friend. So let me show you. Right here is the name, right? And let's say I want to change the name. So I have to go through this H1 here. I have to go to um, to this text right here to the strong tag and change it, change it here and also change it right here in the H2. However, with Astro, all I can do is to create a variable. So I can say const and let's say name, right? Name of my company. And then we are going to call it, um, let's change the name to astronaut like this right save it and now we have the const the variable which is called name and now what we can do is to take that name and place it right here with curly brackets at name and if i save it astronaut as you can see so astro.js is taking this name from this variable right here and the beauty is now i can paste it everywhere where we are going to find our name so I can paste it right here. Let me delete this. And I can also paste it right here, just like so, save it. And as you can see, we have our name everywhere. And the beauty now is if I want to change it again, I only have to change it at this one place here in my variable. So let me show you an example. Let's say we are going to name our company astronaut flow, right? Save it. And as you can see, it's has been changed right here, has been changed right here and also right there. And this is the beauty of static site generators, especially with Astro because it's working with JavaScript where you can simply change variables and apply them everywhere on your page. Now, the second thing is even better. So I told you to concentrate and to focus, to focus, not to concentrate, but to focus on the this button right here, right? So we have right here the button which says click me and here we have uh, applied some styling, so very basic styling. However, Astro is working with components and components are extremely helpful if you are doing web development or building a website. So let me show you. Let's take this button right here, cut it out and place it right here. That's just the HTML, right? And then what we can do is to cut out the style as well. So take everything that has been connected to the button, take everything, cut it out and place it into this component file, which is called button astro. Now all that lives in this file is everything that is connected to the button. So the button itself, the HTML and the styling. And I could also add some um, JavaScript right here. However, for a button currently, I don't need it. So let's leave it like this. And now if I go back to my index.astro page, I can simply say button like this, save it. And as you can see, nothing has changed, but the button is going to be taken from this file now. 
and I can paste this button everywhere on my website. So I can, for instance, paste it in the about page. I can paste it in even some of my blog posts. And what Astro will do, it will always take it from this file right here. So let's say I want to change the button, right? Let's say instead of click me, I want to say click here. Then I only have to um, change it at, in this button, astro.file, save it, and astro.js will apply it no matter where I paste this button right here. So I can even, let's um, apply it three times, as you can see, and I only have to change it right here. So let's add a smiley, save it, and as you can see, Astro.js has applied it everywhere. So these were two use cases of Astro.js, however, they're small. For instance, you can use Astro.js together with GitHub, which will enable you to make a completely free website. You will get hosting for free from GitHub, you will get a domain from GitHub, and the best thing is you can even rank that website. I actually have an online course on how to do that, and I also have two videos on my YouTube channel if you would like to see more. So you can create variables, you can create components, you get a free website with GitHub pages, a free domain, you get templates that are also for free with Astro.js, and that's not even it. You can also build a layout and use certain layouts for certain pages. So for instance, imagine you write blog post, then you can create a layout, especially for your blog post with a sidebar, you know, with the name of the author or something like this, and then you can reuse this layout everywhere on your page. So I will leave the link of Astro.js down in there in the description. And if you have any trouble um, installing Astro, make sure to check out my other videos on YouTube where I show you how to install it, how to connect it to GitHub, and even how to rank the page on Google. Thanks for watching and see you next time.